In the comments of prior videos, many users have complained that their computer is slower after upgrading to Windows 10 or after a major update. Thankfully, there are simple tweaks you can make to speed up your PC. So coming up, we'll go step by step, giving you our recommendations to optimize and improve the performance of your computer. Let's get started. While upgrading your hardware can have a huge impact, this video will only focus on the settings you can change within the operating system itself. First of which, if you're using the Power Saver plan, this does slow down your computer. To change it, in the lower left of the taskbar, in the search box, type Control Panel. Select it. On the screen, make sure that you're in the Category View and select Hardware and Sound. Then click on Power Options. For most of you, your three choices are Power Saver, Balanced, and High Performance. Of the three, High Performance will give you the biggest speed boost, but does use the most power. For laptop users, use High Performance when plugged in, and change it to Balanced when unplugged. This is a good trade-off to extend the battery life while not being on the lowest power plan available. There's also another power plan called Ultimate Performance. This is intended for higher-end PCs. By default, it's not listed. To save some time, I'll put the link in the description to our video that shows you how to make it visible and enable it. To make sure that your PC runs at its topmost performance level, each day while your PC is plugged in, Windows 10 will automatically run system diagnostics, and if there are any problems, we'll fix them. To make sure it's active and running at the correct time, from the Control Panel home screen, select System and Security. Then here at the top, Security and Maintenance. In the Maintenance section, you can see the last time it ran. If it's been a while, to run it now, select Start Maintenance. To the right of that, click on Change Maintenance Settings. This will let you choose the time of day to have it automatically run. And check the box next to Allow Scheduled Maintenance to Wake Up My Computer at the Scheduled Time. When you're done with that, here at the bottom, click OK. Turning off the Windows 10 tips, along with the notifications from other apps, can reduce the processing needed for other programs, making your computer faster. To turn these off, left-click the Start menu and select Settings. Go to System, and in the left pane, Notifications and Actions. First, untick the box next to Get Tips, Tricks, and Suggestions as you use Windows. Let's scroll down here a bit. In the section, get notifications from these senders, go through the list of senders, and toggle off all that you no longer wish to hear from. For the upcoming tips to make it easier to follow along, we'll start here on the Settings home screen. If your drive is running low on space, it will affect performance. To clean it up, go to System and click on Storage. Whether you have a hard disk drive or solid state drive, you'll want to keep the total storage capacity to less than 70%. A good category to clean up is Temporary Files. If you don't see it listed, click Show More Categories and select it. Now check all that you want to delete. Don't check Downloads if you want to keep those files. Also leave the box unchecked for Deletes All System Restore Points. They might come in handy if you ever need to roll back your system. After you've checked the boxes, click on Remove Files. If you're still using a hard disk drive, defragging can help to increase the performance of your drives. To run it, go to System and select Storage. Scroll down to More Storage Settings and click on Optimize Drives. Don't ever defrag an SSD, there's no benefit. Instead of defrag, SSDs use a trim command to clear out data that can be removed. If you have a hard drive listed, select it and click on Optimize. For some older computers, this process could take several hours. While visual effects do improve the look of Windows, they can have a negative impact on performance with systems that have older hardware. To disable these visual effects, go to System, and in the left pane near the bottom, select About. Over here on the right, scroll down to Related Settings, and select Advanced System Settings. With the Advanced tab selected, in Performance, click on Settings. In the Visual Effects tab, to disable all animations and effects, select Adjust for Best Performance. This can be customized to suit your needs. For example, if you don't like how the fonts look after making the changes, select Custom and check the box next to Smooth Edges of Screen Fonts. 
Click Apply and OK when you're done. But for the time being, I'll switch it back to the way it looked before. For the next tip, we'll hang out here in Performance Options and go to the Advanced tab. If you have low system RAM, increasing the size of the paging file in virtual memory is a great way to give your system a boost. In the Virtual Memory section, click on Change. Uncheck the box next to Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives. Select Custom Size, and let's change the initial and maximum size. For initial size, enter a number one and a half times what is shown on your screen. In my case, 3000 times 1.5 is 4500. So let me enter that in here. And for the maximum size, use a number three times what is shown on your screen. For this computer, 4968 times 3 is 14,904. When you have both numbers entered, click on Set. Then click on OK. Click on OK to exit. Earlier I mentioned disabling the visual effects. To help free up resources, you can also disable the transparency effects. From the Settings home screen, go to Personalization. And select Colors. Then toggle the switch on the right to turn off transparency effects. Apps that launch at startup not only affect your boot times, but they can also be a waste of your precious resources as they continue to run in the background. To disable these startup apps, go to Apps and click on Startup. Now go through your entire list and toggle off any app that you're absolutely certain that you don't need when you boot your computer. If your computer has pre-installed apps or has programs that you no longer use, taking up valuable space and resources, it's best to uninstall them to improve your system performance. So go to Apps, and in Apps and Features, go through the list to find the apps you want to uninstall. Let's see if I can find a good one here to get rid of for good. Here it is. Click on it, and select Uninstall. I don't know if this is true, but I've heard that uninstalling this particular app can also help your performance as well. Windows 10 has this feature that will restart your programs from a previous session after an update or reboot of your system, but has been known to impact the overall system performance. To disable this feature, go to Accounts and select Sign in Options from the left pane. Scroll down to the Privacy section and turn off where it says Use my sign in info to automatically finish setting up my device after an update or restart. Being able to search in Windows 10 is a necessary function, but the indexing of the content can have a serious drag on performance, especially on lower end computers. To prevent this from happening, go to Search and select Searching Windows. Here on the right, scroll down in the section More Search, Indexer Settings, click on Advanced Search, Indexer Settings. Now click on Modify, then click Show All Locations. Uncheck all the selected locations, click OK, then close. The benefit to this is that the Windows search will continue to work without the indexing with an overall boost to performance. Most of the time, without you knowing, there are certain apps running in the background that you may not need at that moment. To free up your resources, let's go to Privacy. In the left pane, scroll down and select Background Apps. You could take the extreme measure of turning off all background apps by toggling the switch where it says let apps run in the background. A more reasonable approach would be to go through the list of apps and toggle off those that you don't want to run in the background. Now with these turned off, they won't be wasting resources when you're not using them. While we can't deny that Windows 10 updates have been marred with bloopers and missteps, more times than not Windows updates do include performance fixes that actually don't make it worse. Go to Update and Security. Windows updates are automatic, but sometimes slow to roll out or not working properly. To install manually, click Check for Updates. You'll find sometimes there are updates that can fix your issues. After updating, you'll need to restart your computer for the changes to take effect. If your PC is slow, it could be malware, a virus, or malicious program causing the problem. If you think your computer is infected, you should run a full virus scan. Microsoft Defender is included with Windows 10, so let's use that. First, open Windows Security in the System Tray to the right of the taskbar, look for its shield icon, and left-click on it. Or you could just do a search for Windows Security in the search box. Let me type that in here. Select it when it shows up. In the left pane, click Virus and Threat Protection. 
First check for updates in the section Virus and Threat Protection Updates by clicking the link. After updating, in the Current Threat section, click on Scan Options. Select Full Scan and click Scan Now. This can take a while, so I won't do this right now. After your scan has completed, if you feel your computer is still infected, select Microsoft Defender Offline Scan and Scan Now. This can sometimes remove malware that's difficult to get rid of otherwise. There may be times that a program, driver, or Windows update causes your computer to slow down. Using a system restore point can undo these changes, reverting your computer back to a previous working state. In the search box in the lower left, type create a restore point. Select it. In the system protection tab, select system restore. If you believe a recent update, program installed, or a bad driver has caused the problem, select Recommended Restore. Otherwise, you may have to select Choose a Different Restore Point. More times than not, Recommended Restore is the option you'll want to select. I can't show you the rest of this. Just complete the remaining screens to finish up. If you haven't been keeping count, so far I've shown you 16 possible solutions to speed up your computer. Depending on your situation, it's possible that none of them increase performance. The only fix left is to reset your PC with a fresh install of Windows 10. To do this, open Settings, go to Update and Security, then select Recovery. In the section Reset this PC, click on Get Started. You'll have the choice to keep your personal files or remove everything. Even if you select Keep My Files, it's a good idea to make a backup just in case something goes wrong. From here on out, you're on your own. Now just continue on to reinstall Windows 10. After finishing, you might be surprised that your computer is quite a bit faster than it was before. Thanks for watching. Timestamps are included in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on our latest tech tutorials and other tech-related stuff released each Friday here on Tech Umbo.